Welcome to NFORM's info session videos on the action plan application and submission process. In the first video, we talked about who is eligible for an action plan, how to fill in your application, and how to make amendments to your plan. In the second video, we will talk about how to review, score, and submit your completed action plan. We'll start where we left off in the first video, with the action plan that you completed and sent into NFORM. If you have saved a copy of the approved action plan, this has now become your submission form. If you want to be certain that you have the final approved plan, you can always contact NFORM for a copy to work from. Start by clicking Final Submission and move down to Scoring. To score, you need to have your deliverables, and you know what they are because you've listed them on the form already. Make sure you have them in electronic format because starting 2012, all deliverables need to be submitted as email attachments. If you choose the deliverables wisely at the start of the year, they will work as they are intended. Good deliverables are relevant to the milestone or the activity. They provide good evidence for the score you're assigning. They offer evidence from all provinces wherever possible. And they are complete, organized, and professional in appearance. And remember, more is not always better. You don't need to send it all. Just send the key evidence of what was actually completed. Review the deliverables and put a score for each of the milestones or activities for each objective. The action plan form will do the math for you for individual objectives and for the action plan as a whole. So our original weighting is the maximum score that you can apply to a milestone or activity. For each objective, you will need to provide some notes justifying your score for that objective by outlining completed actions and incomplete items. So for this objective, the notes point out the company achieved 100% for the first three milestones. They've attached the needs assessment document they created. They identified and documented five courses for supervisors and four for managers, again 100%. However, in actual training delivery, while they were shooting for 80% by mid-November, they only hit 40% so they are only awarding themselves half of the possible marks for their milestone. The notes don't have to be extensive. The point is to justify your score. Once the deliverables are ready to email and your scoring is complete, there are a few more things you'll need in your submission package. You'll need a company profile, an organizational chart, an executive summary of the action plan. This summary needs to be signed by the person who prepared the submission and you can submit the score form as you did the application. Just simply click on the Submit by Email button. You'll get the auto-generated email again that's ready to send to coreinfo at nform.ca. You can attach the rest of your submission package to the email as well. If you have any difficulties with the automated email, simply save your completed PDF form, create your email, and attach the saved PDF file. So what happens after you submit your action plan? NFORM will review your submission, especially the scoring and deliverables. The QA check will ensure the deliverable offers sufficient evidence for the self-score. In some cases, NFORM will request clarification or additional supporting documentation. If that happens, any additional supporting documents must be dated before the November 30th deadline, and you must provide these before December 31st. If you get the deliverables right when you apply for an action plan, the submission process usually flows smoothly without the need for any additional information. Remember, action plans are a core maintenance option. Since these are done in your maintenance year, there is no minimum score required to pass the action plan and maintain your core. However, if this is your first maintenance year doing an action plan and you want to do an action plan for your second year as well, then you need to achieve at least 80% on your first action plan. If you fall short, you will need to do a standard maintenance audit for your second year. We believe a well-crafted action plan can provide real benefit to your company's health and safety management system. Contact us if you have any questions about the process or require any assistance in preparing your action plan. We want to thank you for taking the time to learn about the action plan process.